Let's find the GCF for six and eight. Here's how we do it. So the GCF, sometimes you'll see that called the greatest common divisor or highest common factor. They're all the same thing. I like greatest common factor, GCF. So what we do, we find the factors for six and eight. And we look at the ones in common and we just choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for six, one times six, that equals six. Two times three, that equals six, but that's it. For eight, one times eight equals eight, and then two times four. So these are the factors for six and eight. Let's find the common factors. So one, both of them have one. Two, two is a common factor. Two goes into six and two goes into eight evenly, but that's it. That's the greatest common factor. So in answer to our question, the GCF for six and eight, that is two. There are other ways you could do this like prime factorization, but for small numbers, this is usually pretty quick. It's Dr. B looking at the greatest common factor for six and eight. It is two. Thanks for watching.